everyone, it's Ace. Alright, I'm going to do a video on a little bit of TradingView basics um, for beginners. This is the website I use for any kind of trading or charting I'm doing prior to entering any kind of position. Uh, definitely, definitely recommend using this one. Very easy, very simple. So let's get to it. Alright, so you want to go to TradingView.com. I'll go ahead and post a little bit of a link on the bottom of my, in the description. So once you get onto TradingView, you want to go over here to where the ticker is. That is where you can find any kind of crypto you are looking for. Majority of it is on here, but if it's one of those coins that are on a different, not on a major exchange, it won't be on there. So let's just start off with the one that I am into nicely. So here's one. Uh, we have next pulled up. A couple things you want to do once you have a coin pulled up that you want to look into is turn on some kind of indicators. Uh, very crucial, needed, and helps your decision making as far as where you want to enter and where you want to exit. So you want to come over here to this little mini graph. Go ahead, click on it, and it'll pop up with a whole bunch of lists of things. Um, if you've been researching one, feel free to go ahead and select it. Pick whichever one you want some basics to start off with which I like using are my RSI relative strength index I like using my bands Bollinger bands and my favorite the Ichimoku cloud and later on I'll get into more detailed videos as far as how to use these indicators what to look for and things like that right now it's just the basics of trading view I don't want to throw people off and get too into things that are off topic so once you have everything pulled up, that is a really good start. It'll give you an idea of where to look for, where the top is, where the bottom is. It'll start giving you ideas and just things to look out for when you start understanding things. Some of the things you can do on TradingView is if you want to guys want to build a line like I did right over here, you guys can actually just click over here. It'll pull up any kind of line. You can pick the variation of the line. So for example, um, I will build a line over here. So this is a good representation of my buy zone. Pretty much kind of a crooked line. Pretty much anything underneath here, I was scooping pretty nicely up there. So these lines definitely do help give you an indication of something. And they're very simple to use. Um, another thing you want to definitely, definitely use when you're on trading view is your hour handles. Um, we have everything from one month to one minute a one minute little lower charts uh, give you a representation of things that are going on very zoomed in um, you can use them for day trading however I do recommend zooming out um, you'll catch me sometimes looking at day charts just because it gives you a nice broader view of everything um, but I also like looking at my four hour charts those are my two favorite are the dailies four hour and the one hour charts um, anything less would be for day trading or just not something we want to get into in this video. So, you got the ticker, you got your indicators, you got your timers, and you have your toolbars. Those are the basic tools that'll get you through TradingView and help you out a lot in the future. Alright, so look forward to my next video. We'll get more in depth with these indicators, what they mean, how they, how they work, and what you need to do to get better. Alright. Thank you for joining me. Look forward to helping you guys out in the future. Bye-bye.